Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Rachel Reads. I am finally vlogging again. I took about a week off, or over a week really. I haven't vlogged since my 24-hour readathon. Um, it is now Monday, March 22nd, so there's only about a week left, or about nine days left in the um, Tis the Damn Readathon, so I'll catch you up on what I've been reading. I have been reading a lot. I've finished a lot of um, books in the last week, so can't really catch you up on all of it right now, but currently I am reading The Snow Child by um, Eowyn Ivy. I have read the other book that she published, which is called To the Bright Edge of the World, and I really loved it. Um, so no surprises, I'm also loving this one. And then for my audiobook, I'm reading it on script. I have the hard copy from Book of the Month, People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. This fulfills the prompt for reading a thriller. Um, it is a thriller about an Instagram influencer and her stalker. <laughs> yeah, so the prompt to read a thriller goes with No Body, No Crime from the Evermore album. So uh, it's pretty short. I'll probably finish it in a day or two. I'm reading it on 1.8 speed. Um, so let's see, how many hours is it? I only have nine hours left, so really that's like five hours at the speed I read at. So won't take me long. Um, yeah, I've just been on a big reading kick. I've just been reading, reading, reading. Uh, I listened to Anna Kay on audiobook. I listened to Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis on audiobook. So a lot of listening. I had to switch hands. My arm was getting tired. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to update you. I had some hot chocolate. I'm feeling kind of cozy, so I'm going to go upstairs and well, first I have to put some laundry away, but I'll listen to my audiobook while I do that. And then I'm going to cozy up in bed and read The Snow Child. Tomorrow we are filming an episode of the podcast. Usually we film on the weekends, but um, this time we have a guest that um, Tuesday night worked for her. So we're doing filming tomorrow. It's going to be really good. Um, I'm excited for that episode. And then, yeah, the rest of the week is kind of open. I don't think I have anything else scheduled this week. Yeah, so just a lot of reading going on. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch up with you all later. Bye. Fresh. It is Wednesday, March 24th, so work has been insane. Um, I actually think I'm going to do a little work tonight. I've got um, I've got a rotisserie chicken cooking right now, but later tonight I think I'm going to get on my computer and work. I've just been so busy. But before I do, I want to update you all on my reading. And we have some mail to open. So, The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. My hope is to finish it tonight. I have about 70 pages left, so I probably can. It'll take me about an hour. So I think I'll finish that tonight. I'm also about halfway through People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. It's really good. It's a good thriller. You know, it's creepy, but nothing's really happening, which to me is the mark of a really good thriller. When not a lot happens, you're like, your anticipation builds up way more because you're like, something's going to happen, something's going to happen, but it just doesn't. And I know a lot of people hate that, but for a thriller, for me, it works. So it's a short book. So, I mean, we're halfway through, like I said, and I really have no idea what's going on. I, I thought at first I knew what was happening, but I don't know. So... That's what I'm reading. Oh, and the A1 IV book, it does meet the prompt for um, a folklore or a fairy tale retelling for that album. But I, I've, this is like the third book this month that I've read that meets that criteria. I'm just reading it because it's really good. Okay, now we have some mail to open. First, book mail. I know it's from Amazon, but I had points, so... Yay! Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. It is a um, graphic memoir of um, her time growing up during the Iranian Revolution. Yeah, I'm really excited to read this because I've only heard great things. And there's a sequel, so I'll probably get the sequel later. But I think I might save this for like a weekend reading vlog where I try to like get a lot of books read at once. You know, I could read it in one sitting. Okay, now we're going to open my FabFitFun box. I promise this is not sponsored. Like anyone that sponsored me, I have like 10 subscribers. But I love FabFitFun. 
I just, I got addicted to it. I got sucked in from like a promotion and it just, it's kind of, you know, I mean, for me, the price is, it is what it is. It's kind of pricey, but not really. And I just like that I get to try a whole bunch of new products that I never would have tried otherwise. And um, I will tell you that I don't know what's in this box at all. Usually I customize a few of the items in the box, but I missed the window this time, so I have no idea what's in here. Let's see. Ooh, stickers. I love stickers. Ooh, all right, HelloFresh, per usual. All right, milk makeup. Watermelon brightening face mask. <gasps> I love face masks. Ooh. Whoops, I dropped it. Oh, it's like a stick. You s oh my god. That's awesome. Tropical Trio Cocoa Floss. It's a dental floss? That's weird. What? Oh my god, and it comes with a little thing. Dental floss? Oh, it's different flavors. Caracar Orange, Pure Strawberry. What's this one? I don't know, but <laughs> that's hilarious. Ooh. These are makeup wipes. Reusable makeup wipes. Nice. Ooh. Cosmetic organizer. I've been wanting to get some organizer things. Cool. Looks like it's acrylic. Pretty. All right. Okay. Nice. What do you think? Oh my god, look at this. Say hi. Look at all this stuff. You like it? Okay, what's this? A hat? I hope it's a hat. I need a nice one for mowing the lawn in. Oh, it is a hat. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I will not wear this anywhere public, but, well, maybe the beach. I'm going to keep the sun up on my face, but it'll be good for doing, like, gardening and stuff so I don't burn. <gasps> slippers. I need new slippers. This is actually really good. Ooh. Cute. Oh, and they're soft. All right. Ooh, another milk thing. What is this? Brightening serum watermelon. So same flavor as the face mask, but it's a serum. So I suppose I use this after the mask. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look how tiny. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. This is Marina Biome Brightening Ampoule. Ampoule. I don't know what it's for. All right, it's for your face. To brighten and even out complexion. Okay. Good. Cute. Bath gel. Peach champagne fragrance. Oh. Ooh, that smells good. Oh, that's going to get me in the mood for spring for sure. Yay. Yeah, that's everything. So... This is now the cat's box. That's why she's sitting next to me. She's waiting for it to be empty so she can sit in it. There you go. See, this is the only reason that I buy this. Is so that she can have another box to sit in. There you go. Okay, so I think... What I'm going to do, well, I'm going to put all this stuff away first. I'm going to finish up dinner, probably listen to my audiobook while I do that. And then after dinner, I'm going to do a little bit of work, but then I'm going to prioritize finishing The Snow Child. So that's going to be my number one goal for tonight. So I will check in with you all later, update you, and let you know how I did. Good evening. <laughs> All right, so I finished both of my books. So I listened to the rest of People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. 
I'm not sure what to rate this book. I liked it. Um, it was a decent book. I don't feel like the climax of it was like thrillery enough. I mean, it was definitely high stakes, don't get me wrong. And trigger warning for infant death and infant harm in this book. Like, don't read it if you have a baby and that kind of stuff bothers you. Or even if you don't have a baby and that stuff bothers you. It's pretty gratuitous or, I don't know, it's just, it's a lot. Um, yeah, so I almost want to say, this sounds bad, but I almost want to say like two or two and a half stars. Not because I didn't enjoy it, like I said, but I just feel like I really wanted a lot more from it. Um, so I might land on two and a half. I don't know. I'm not going to decide tonight. Um, I also just finished The Snow Child by Awen Ivy. So good. I love this author. I can't wait for her to write more books. I just... I'm such a big fan. I love books set in Alaska. That's definitely my wheelhouse. Um, and yeah, just books that have like just a taste of magic that you are not sure is really there or not, but I don't know. I loved it. So what I'm going to do now is update my Goodreads, my story graph, and my um, book journal. Just kind of get all that updated and then probably go to bed. It's it's about 9.30, not too late, but um, yeah, like I said, it's been I've been busy at work, so I want to get a good night's sleep. So I'm going to do that. For my next book, I have two more books I want to read for the Tis the Damn Readathon. Um, I want to read Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, which is his memoir. I have that on my Kindle, so that I want to read for the prompt for debut album of Taylor Swift to read a book that's a memoir and yeah I have to charge my Kindle because it's dying but um yeah so I think I'm gonna pick that up for audiobook I'm not sure what I want to pick up I have a couple of options because I just used my LibroFM credit I got the book of Essie by Megan McLean Weir and that sounds really good. It's about like a fundamentalist Christian uh, cult. And then for my library, I uh, borrowed The Beekeeper's Apprentice by Lori King, which was recommended to me from Becky Farr, one of our um, podcast guests that we've had before. Either way, um, I'll keep you updated. For now, I'm just going to listen to a podcast while I update all of my, you know, um, reading trackers, and then, and then head to bed. And tomorrow morning, I will let you know what I decide to do with an audiobook. Who knows if I'll even have decided? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Uh, it's Thursday morning. I, uh, I realized when I signed off last night, I didn't tell you what my star rating for The Snow Child was, and of course I gave it five stars, it was amazing. And I think I decided I'm going to give people like her 2.5 stars on Storygraph and round it up to three on Goodreads. Like I said, I enjoyed reading it, wouldn't read it again, and um, there were things about the ending that I wish had been done differently. So. Not the best, but not the worst. And I just put it in my pile of books that I'm planning to donate or sell to a used bookstore. So I have my Kindle charging so that um, tonight I can start Trevor Noah's memoir. The, the window behind me looks really bright, but it's actually raining and foggy out. And it's kind of bumming me out, even though we need the rain. Um, it is spring after all. We don't want the summer to there to be a drought so bring on the rain it just makes me tired <laughs> anyway so I'm going to sign off go to work and I will check in with you all later. hello so I last updated you all on Thursday it is now Saturday at 3 p.m. and I have not read anything since I last talked to you so we're going to give ourselves a little fresh start I'm going to um, sit out on the porch. It's like mid, it's like 53 degrees outside. Um, so that's warm for Maine. <laughs> um, 
I have nothing to say other than I've just been so, I've been working a lot and in my free time I've been like listening to podcasts. i just been like re-listening to old episodes. I did this last year too around this time. It's like a comfort thing I think. Like last year it was like the pandemic was new and scary and I needed it and this year it's like the pandemic is old and scary and I need it. So that's what I've been doing. But I'm really in the mood to read. I also want to show you what I got from the library. Okay, so I got these books from the library today. Um, not that I don't have enough books of my own to read, right? But uh, I found these. I saw them and just, I think the Paris thing caught my eye because I miss traveling. But um, this author, Juliet Blackwell, I've never read anything by her. But you've got these two books, which are both about Paris. But they're not like in a series or anything. They're just both about Paris. Um, and I talked to my librarian, one of the librarians there, and she said she loves this author. She's read everything by her, and there are two series that she's written. So if I like these books, I have series I can read. Where are they? I think they're in this one. Also by Juliet Blackwell. The Witchcraft Mysteries and... The Haunted House Renovation Mysteries. Um, so they, they look cool. I like books about witches. So so yeah, um, just a little bit. See my cat eating her food in the background. But yeah, so just a little update that there was nothing to update on. But usually going to the library really inspires me to read. So I'm going to, like I said, go sit on the porch and read my book. So I will update you when I have finally read something. Okay, it is 9.30. Um, it's still Saturday. I just wanted to let you all know I finally read some of my book. I am 33% of the way through Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. It is so good. It's funny. It's real. It's raw. It has so much in it. He, just like his life growing up in South Africa under apartheid, it's like really intense. Um, but he brings in his trademark humor and it's just him as a kid sounds like just such a funny kid um, just a little Tasmanian devil you know like the cartoon just whirly gigging around so um, I'm just looking forward to continuing with the story I love his mom she was amazing yeah I think I'm gonna go up to bed and keep reading this until I fall asleep so I'll talk to you all tomorrow Bye. Happy Sunday. All right, I'm just uh, checking in with the vlog because I am about 60% of the way through Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. I'm, um, it's evening now. It's about 4.45. We uh, filmed a couple of podcast episodes today and I've just been kind of relaxing and listening to podcasts again. That's just been like my whole life recently. Um, but yeah, I just filmed a video, and now I am going to, uh, I'm probably going to read for an hour before I make dinner and try and get the book done tonight. I don't really have anything else major that I have to get done today. I was going to do some cleaning, but I kind of feel like I don't want to now. It's Sunday, work, work starts back up tomorrow, and it's going to be a busy week, so I'm just going to relax read my book, and just have fun. If I feel like it tonight, I might film my April TBR, but I might, because yeah, because April starts on Thursday. So I think I might do that later tonight, but not right now. I'm gonna wait until I finish my book. And yeah, so I will update you all when I'm done. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. I didn't finish Trevor Noah's book yesterday, but I'm close. I have like 60 pages left, I think, so I'll finish it tonight. But I just wanted to give you an update. It's early. It's like 6.15. Um, my boss is off this week, which means I'm in charge, so I'm going in early. And yeah, I will um, update you all when I finish the book, but I didn't want to leave you hanging and uh, only check in Monday night so good morning <laughs> all right so I'm gonna head out, head out to work and when I get home I'm gonna finish reading the book so I will talk to you later
Hey everyone, it's Monday night and I just finished Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Five stars, it was incredible. Um, I feel like this, uh, this vlog doesn't really have a lot to it, so I have a plan. And tomorrow night, what I'm going to do is, for the end of the vlog, I'm going to film my wrap-up for Tis the Damn Readathon um, and make it part of the vlog and I'll show you like what I'm doing in my bullet journal and I'll film part of that so just to kind of give this vlog a little bit more meat to it I know it's been kind of boring I really enjoyed Born a Crime like I said I gave it five stars and I'm really happy that I read it and that was my 13th book of the month and 13 Taylor Swift I mean it's perfect and I only have two days left of the month so I don't think I'll finish another book anyway so it's good. I think I'm going to start on one of my April books because like I said, I won't finish it until April. So I'm in the mood to read a little bit more tonight. So we'll do that. Um, but until then, I will talk to you all tomorrow and show you my finished Tis the Damn Readathon bullet journal spread. journal spread or reading journal spread for Tis the Damn Readathon. It's not anything special, but it does feature the um, nice card that Harry designed with all the albums and the lover house from the music video, um, our little bingo board. I used some stickers from um, the Novel Menagerie store. I'll link below where I got them. And then I wrote all the um, prompts that I fulfilled with books and then all the ones I fulfilled as activities. Um, I put audiobooks down here because actually about half the books I read this month were audiobooks, so I just counted it as one activity. But all the books that I read are counted up here. There are 13 of them. <laughs> and I only... It's funny because... <laughs> I used three books for just one prompt, but then the rest, it was just a book per prompt. So let's recap my month. Um, I'm just going to do my whole recap here. So the first album, I'm going to go in order of album, not in order of the book that I read. So the first album is her debut album, Taylor Swift. And for that, I read Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. The next prompt that I fulfilled was for the song 15, and this earned me the Fearless album prompt. And for that, I read The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This is a YA fantasy. Um, it's really, really good. I gave it five stars. I highly recommend. The next prompt that I fulfilled was for the song If This Was a Movie, and that is off the Speak Now Deluxe album. So this earned me the Speak Now album square. And for that, I read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. So yeah, this was the group read for all of the um, Tis the Damn Readathon hosts, and we're doing a live show on Saturday to talk about it. The next prompt that I fulfilled um, was for the Red album, and the prompt was to read a book with red on the cover, and I read Fountains of Silence. See, there's a little bit of red right here, but also red on the spine. And this is a... Um, I don't know if I would call it Y, yeah, I guess YA, one of the main characters is, I think, 17, and the other one is 18 or 19, um, and 
It is set in the 1950s in Spain under the dictatorship of Francisco Franco. So it's really interesting. I highly enjoyed it. Would recommend. The next prompt that I fulfilled was for, um, also for the Red album. So I did two books for this album. It was for the song Begin Again, and the prompt is to pick up a book that you have previously DNF'd. So for me, it was this one, Girl, Woman, Other by Bernardine Evaristo, and I kind of DNF'd it. I more just like put it down in January and didn't touch it at all in February and read 10 other books. But either way, I kind of counted as, you know, beginning again. Um, so I, I liked this book. I didn't love it. Um, I think the writing style for me was just a little bit not totally, you know, what I enjoy, but I, I liked the story of it. So I gave it, I think, three, three and a half stars. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. The next prompt that I fulfilled was for the 1989 album, and the prompt is to read a book with a number in the title. And I did read a book with a number in the title. I don't have it with me. <laughs> I, um let my mom borrow it because she likes the same author. So the book is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. I'll just put a um, picture of it up here so you can see it. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kristen Hanna did it again. I loved it so much. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. The next prompt that I fulfilled also was for the 1989 album, but it was for the song Bad Blood. And that was to read a book with a morally gray character. So I ended up reading Temporary by Hilary Leichter, and I'll put a picture of it up here. I read it on my Kindle, and I really liked that one as well. And if you subscribe to my podcast, you'll see we actually interviewed the author, Hilary Leichter, and it's a really good interview, so go check that out. It was really fun. The next prompt that I fulfilled was for the Reputation album, and it was for the song Look What You Made Me Do. Look What You Made Me Do. And for this one, I read a book that, well, the... The prompt is to read a book that was recommended to you. So for this one, I read Valentine by Elizabeth Wetmore. And this book is pretty good. I, I think I gave it four stars. Um, it was enjoyable. It was infuriating, like the plot points, but the characters were all really great. The next prompt that I filled was for the Lover album. And it was for the song, I Forgot That You Existed. And it was to read the book that's been on your shelf the longest. And for me, I picked a book that had it hasn't I don't think it's the longest book it's one of the longest but it was definitely the book of the month book that I've had the longest and that was Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keen so I got this from book of the month a couple of years ago and um, I just hadn't picked it up yet and I'm glad I did this month I really liked it it was a um, very enjoyable book okay the next prompt is the one that I read three books that actually count towards this prompt and it was for the folklore album and it was to read a book based on mythology or fairy tale retelling or just any kind of retelling so one of the books that i read that fulfills this prompt is called fierce fairy tales by nikita gill and it is poems and stories to stir your soul so it's a lot of poetry short stories um and it was really fun it was really enjoyable my favorite one was why tinkerbell quit anger management and i thought that was really good Another book that I read that fits this prompt is Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. Um, Anna Kay is a retelling of Anna Karenina, but it's sort of set in um, modern day Manhattan. It's sort of a gossip girl, crazy rich Asians kind of style, and it was really, really fun. So um, I would highly recommend this book. It's actually really funny. And the third book that I read that fits this prompt is The Snow Child. <laughs> by Eowyn Ivy, and this book is a retelling or reimagining of the fairy tale. Um, I think the fairy tale is called The Snow Child. It's Russian, so I'm not sure exactly how the title translates, but um, it is so good. Oh my god. Eowyn Ivy is a really good author. I've read now both of her books, and I really enjoyed them, so uh, I highly recommend you check her out. So that's great. Okay, so the final prompt that I completed by reading a book was the prompt for the Evermore album, specifically the song No Body, No Crime, and that was to read a mystery or thriller. I read People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. It was a pretty good thriller. Um, I wish they had done a little more with it, but overall I liked it. So those are all the books that I read this month for Tis the Damn Readathon. And um, I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog. So yeah, tell me what you read 
for the readathon and be sure to join us all for the you know live show on Saturday when we talk about Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and yeah thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment down below what kind of videos you like to see from me so I hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching bye